Hello guys, it's Ryan. I'm back with another video, and today we are doing a drift montage of the best locations in the GTA map. Let's get straight into it. This first one is in Weasel Plaza. It is well known among the drift community. Um, yeah, there's a there's a lot of good lines you can take. There's a full figure eight, and it's all enclosed, so there's no traffic in the road, which is very nice. This one is a somewhat beginner spot where there's a lot of spots for runoff and even tight corners also, so it's a mix. But there's like a whole racetrack you can make if you wanted a whole line. As you can see here, I'm making a line. You start around this corner, take a right, and then you can go up here, take a left, and this goes into the weasel, the actual weasel plaza, which is the figure eight. Now, as you can see, I'm definitely not the best at drifting, but this can give you ideas of new places to drift and hopefully expand off of them. But then after you come out of the figure eight, you can come around this tight 180 corner, and then you floor it, and then try to hit this tight corner. That was terrible, but who cares? Alright. Now this next one is more of a generic one, uh, it is in the casino parking lot, but it's fun to just drift around, try not to hit the cars, if you do, you just cut it out like I did, <laughs> just kidding. But this is a definitely a beginner to intermediate spot, uh, there's a lot of cool spots you can go around. Uh, I definitely recommend going in passive mode if you are doing it with a public session. This is three for me over here. But then you can also come down here, go through the tunnel, and then you can go back to the horse track. There's a little jump drift right here. Into a swerve. There's a lot of components you can do this with do with this. Drift into a parking spot. And then when you go back here you can put the jump. And then 180 turn back up into the casino parking lot area and then you can go around the valet entrance area and that's it that's mostly it for that Now this next one is just below the casino area. Uh, if you look on the map, you can go down maybe like five clicks, it'll be right there. But this one is a more hard one where it's a smaller circuit, uh, very tight corners, and it's not very big. So you can have to go onto the street for a bit to rotate back around to the start. But you can go up here, there's a little parking lot out to the left to do a quick turnaround. And then a 180 curve, very tight as I was saying. And then there's a, there's a circle that you can drift around. And try not to get on the grass like I did. And then a little jump drift. And yeah, that's about it. Nothing much to it. And you can obviously go the other way. This could be better for some people with more potential going the other way, going down the steeper hill, and you don't have as much momentum going to that last turn then. Now this is one of my personal favorites, this is at the Chinese restaurant. It's at like the bottom of Delta of like the two streets converging into the airport. And if you don't know where that is, I think I have a location map at the end of this, like this trip. But it's pretty simple, it's just a full circle. You can take a little L turn, turn left. Yeah, it's just a very nice segment you can make into this. And once you get really good at it, you can just keep going and going and going. You might want to move the cars though, that are there. Sometimes they get in the way. But it's just very fun. It's fun to have a small car with too, because it is a very tight area. 
and it's a very good car location meet as well. There's a lot of things you can do with this. There's like a little blip, so you can do a jump. But here's the location that I'm saying. Now this next one is just generally down by the docks. Um, don't mind that. <laughs> but there's there's a lot of spots down by the docks that you can go. I found this small little circuit around the um, the waste management area that you can try to drift. I was definitely not using the right car for this, although you will look at a very small thing drift or turn or anything. The Hellcat has a, a lot of power, so this will definitely be a track for this car. Also, let me know if you want me to do a tier list of drift cars in the future. That was in my ideas list. So, yeah, let me know. Yeah, let me just take it here. I'm just kind of walking around. I'm not doing much. It's a very complicated area to box. You can, you can find some good spots, and other spots are kind of boring. This is where I was just showing, but there you could just go anywhere, really. Now, this is another one of my personal favorites. It's this very small parking lot next to the marina. The, uh, the parking lot right next to it. Uh, but it's just a small little parking lot. Not many cars spawn usually. And there's a nice little drift you can do under this building. And it's just a nice long fast trip. And then you can just go around all these buffers, make cool lines, and then you can do what you want here. And maybe not crash into the pole of heaven. But the three main cars I'm using in this video are the Banshee 900R with the Benny's upgrade. Uh, here's the location. Uh, the Hellcat with the uh, Hellfire, which is what it is in the game. And uh, the Mamba, the Mamba is my Fuji favorite. Anyway, here's the next spot, it's at the pier. There's a lot of spots you could do with this too, just like the docks. Uh, you could go up on the parking lot up here. Just do some slaloms around the telephone poles and cars. And the cool thing I learned is with the, the pier, the wood actually makes you drift differently with different traction making for better lines and different, just different um, areas you can go into. Now if you go to the right of the entrance of the pier, you can go down these stairs. It's a bit scuffed or you can actually go around like a normal display. But we ain't no normal display. And you can go around here, down this little ramp, do a much drift like that. Don't crash. <laughs> And then you can go to the actual parking lot below. And there's a lot of more cars, a lot more telephone poles that you can do, slob, journal, figure eight, circles, anything like that. There's a nice little walking path that you could try to traverse as well. Uh, this is another generic spot, but if you guys watch GTARP, this is next to the apartments, and it's just the parking lot right next to it, where there's a lot of cool walled-in hedges that you can go around, and it's just a nice spot, clean spot, and my favorite is there's this little island in the middle that you can do a nice trip around, and it just looks very cool. Alongside this, there is another one which I will be showing in a second. Right next to it, that's a smaller, smaller parking lot like entrance that you can drift around. So if you go out the side exit entrance, you can go around and you can go into here. 
and then there's this little small jump 180 drift down our, a ramp into this other parking lot. So it's easy to get to get back to the other one. Now this one is a little bit harder. It's next to the graveyard. I found this one myself. But you can drift around on these little paths. Uh, very small. Once again, I'm using the wrong car for this. I'm using the big bulky Hellcat in these small little lanes. And there is a water trap, so it's going to be even harder, especially if you fall. But the nice thing is, if you are using the Hellcat, you're not going to sink your car and destroy it because it is not deep enough. But this one is cool just because how small it is, how many people don't really know about it just because of how hard it is. And you can do some nasty drifts with the uh, hitting dirt and getting less traction, making it spin out again. Now this is a, another spot that's near the marina and the docks down there. It's right next to the arena, the lower parking lot. Uh, where there's a tunnel, a parking lot, and you can do some cool lines through the tunnels. And then you can even go up to the arena if you want, but you do have to be careful with traffic because you are crossing that road. But it's basically just a long tangled parking lot that you can do long drifts on and go into a clean small one. This is my line. I went around the first one, then came through the tunnel, and went around the second. And then you can go up into the arena. And then find even more stuff up there. Go around those parking lots, try not to hit the cars. So this was the last location, and once again, it was at the arena. So uh, I hope you guys liked this video. If you want to see me do more of these, let me know. Like I said, I might do a, one of just cars. And yeah. So make sure to subscribe, like, do all that stuff. And I'll see you next time.